Well, here we go again. This is the second installment. As promised, I have added a boiler. Just an old spray can with some fittings added. Here's my sight glass so I can see how much water is in the tank. This is where I fill it. And originally this was going to be a pressure relief valve, although I think I've come up with a better idea for that. And this is just uh, aquarium tubing, aquarium airline tubing. I was going to try to run the thing off of some tea lights, but they're just not hot enough. So I've got a can of Sterno. And you can see that the supports for the tank aren't quite tall enough to keep it up off the can of Sterno, so I had to prop it up a little bit. And I have preheated the tank. <coughs> took, about, took about 20 minutes to preheat the tank to bring it up from tap temperature. And I fiddled around with it for a couple of minutes trying to get the camera ready and everything. But it should just take another minute or two to warm back up. And we should be going. You probably can't hear it. But I can hear the water in the tank sizzling. So it won't be long till it warms back up. I originally planned to put a piece of copper tubing here to carry the steam to the cylinder, but I was in a hurry to see if it would run, so I just used this, and I kind of like it because this is just a friction fit here, and it acts as an unintentional pressure relief valve. I was running it a couple of days ago with a propane torch for heat and I built up too much pressure in the tank and the hose popped out and of course steam vented so well that's pretty cool so I may just leave it that way this could also serve the same purpose but if this one pops out then boiling water is going to go spraying and that's what we call a bad thing Still not quite warm enough. <coughs> While that's warming up, I'll give you a little closer look of everything. You can see the high excitement here with a can of Sterno burning. I'm sure you've never seen that before. Can you hear the tank sizzling? I can hear it, but I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not. Water is condensing in the system. You can see it coming out the cylinder. I've actually put a little cup down here, a little lid down here to catch some of the water. The steam is condensing out in the system. Here we go. Now we're getting close. And actually is dripping out. Now you can start to see some steam coming out the valve.
Now we're getting somewhere. Let me put the camera back down. Whoops. Professional cinematography here. Now you can see some steam escaping from the cylinder. Should be ready to run. And it is. Completely self-contained and almost totally silent. I don't know how fast it'll run on the sterno. Don't know how hot the tank will get. Let's take a little closer look at some things. Completely silent. Now you might be able to hear it a little bit. I'm going to move around to the other side. Maybe we can see some steam coming out the... Yeah, now here we can see the steam coming out the valve. I just like to sit and watch it run. Now it's speeding up a little bit. You can see that the tank is not quite sitting properly on the supports. Since the tea lights didn't work out for power, I'm going to have to build better supports and raise the tank up a little bit so the turno, sterno will heat the tank a little better. I might also build an apron around the tank to uh, hold the heat around it better. Concentrate it a little bit. Well, I think I've got a 10 minute limit here on YouTube and we're about eight minutes into this. So I need to wrap it up. Still getting water on the base. Going to have to work on the valve a little bit. A lot of fun. Once I get this one running the way I want it, I'm going to start on a two-cylinder version. Should be a little bit more interesting. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.